And this is going to be a pretty close call, but are we going to be making it? It's extremely close, guys. It is extremely close. everyone, it is Hyperverse and welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach and in today's episode we are starting the quest to top 50 on the Dutch local leaderboard. So right as you guys can see we're rank 862 and I kind of want to try to make my way up to the top 50 and for that we need about 1000 medals victory points. So this is going to be a tough challenge but I'm up for the challenge and it's going to be really great and I think after I actually do reach it, which might be a question uh, that's going to be left unanswered. Uh, I'm going to be trying to get a thousand medals if we're not there yet. So uh, essentially this series is just for me to uh, create some episodes for you guys. Uh, no, of course not. Of course. Don't think bad of me. That's not the way it is. I really just want to make sure that I do it. And I want to take you guys with me on the journey. Improving my boom beach skills. And obviously uh, while I'm doing these series, I'm going to be trying different types of troop combinations to take down bases because obviously with only warriors you're not going to be making it and I'm very close uh, I'm fairly close of maxing out my my heavies right now and my zookas and my rifleman so it's going to be a lot of fun you know I'm, I'm really looking forward to bringing guys these series I think right now I am in the position that I can make that push or can start making that push and the way it is right now every single time I'm playing the game I'm like hoovering between 40 and 15 power, uh, 40 and 50 power powder, and uh, we're gonna be getting seven again once I'm done with this masterpiece. So that's all great. So I still have everything boosted up from the latest Doctor Terror. I took like a one-hour break, and we're just going to see how well we're gonna be doing in this episode. I'm just going to keep uh, the two that I got boosted up boosted up, and not bo and not bother with troop health and. Um, I hope that my uh, heavies are going to be done soon because if you take a look at my gold, we're going to be probably max this out in this episode. And um, let's see, I can upgrade my critters if I max them out. So that might be something interesting. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to go around doing that. If you guys got any suggestions for troop combinations or things I should be upgrading, make sure to let me know in the comments below. All my landing crests level 17, obviously uh, these level 14 ones are going to go to level 17 ASAP. But... We're just gonna make a start here by taking down player bases. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a fairly easy run at least right now. And I think later on in the series we're gonna be facing a couple of challenges here and there on taking out these bases. We're going to be kicking off this very first episode by dropping a barrage onto the shock launcher because I cannot really shock that one. And oh, we took it out. Very very nice. Gonna drop an artillery onto that. Take care of that, and then we're going to... Should I just walk straight? Yeah, I should. Let's go right here. Deploying the warriors. Just like that, and... One smoke. Two smoke. Let's drop a mad kit here. We are exposed for a split second, but that's gonna be okay. We're going to be healing up a little bit here. Or we're just going to full restore everything. Three smokes in between and the fourth smoke goes on to the headquarters. And as you guys can see, I've got plenty of energy to run with this. And I actually do intend to not always boost up everything. Like, there's going to be some episodes in which I'm not going to be boosting anything at all. And those should be good fun. They sh those should be interesting in the least. So let's just go ahead and deploy a couple of things here and there. Critters, distract everything. There goes the HQ. The first base on the quest to top 50 local rankings is done. Alfie, thank you so much for being a test subject on our crazy journey to top 50. Oh, Smashland. Um, Smashland is a thing too, right? Um, my energy is filled. Can I... Okay, there it's gone. Um, if you guys want me to make episodes on Smashland, make sure to let me know as well. Because that's going to be a thing. By the way, I'm currently leveling up my weapon lab to level 2. But the fact of the matter is, if I do feel I've got enough energy to get this shock launcher up to level 9... I'm going to be doing it. Not energy. Uh, resources. Not energy. So uh, we're going to be upgrading our defenses as well. And I think we might be getting some defensive uh, masterpieces or something like that. I'm not really sure. I might sacrifice some gunboats. Because um, I don't really like... If, if I want to get better at the game, I need to be able to do it without the gunboat. Because I'm always doing it the easy route. I mean, I'm always using the gunboat to do it. Uh, which is all cool. But I should be able to do it without the gunboat. I don't know. 
if that's stupid or not. Maybe troop damage or maybe gun mod. I'm not sure. You guys help me decide. I really need your interaction. Some of you guys are definitely better than I am in this game. But um, I want to show you guys that I got what it takes in order to, to do this. Let's drop some critters here. Get rid of these mines over here. Pew, 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 pew. And then we're going to... Hmm, hmm. Drop this here. Drop an artillery there. Let's go to explode the both of them. And one over here as well. So that way we can actually focus on the cannons and the boom cannons with our shocks. So let's actually run a shock on that. We're going to be hitting the boom mines. Oh, the first one gets dodged. That is uh, good interesting information right there. Something I can definitely do something with. We just only had one boom mine. That's, that's interesting. I seriously thought I was going to be hitting uh, this boom mine over here. Put it one spot closer. There's like two spots you can put it. Like, um, so it hits your warriors. Or the opponent's warriors in this particular case. Okay, there we go. Deploy some critters into the mix. And heal up the units because there is a machine gun. Uh, which cannot do anything because we already took down the base. OMG, clear snow. Well, he cleared out his snow alright. I mean, it's gone pretty much. It's pretty much gone. Two casualties there. I could have done that a little bit better. Actually, I think I did that alright. I shouldn't be so hard on myself and stuff like that. Pin, pin, pin. We're gonna win, win, win. Let's see what you got. You got a back base. A base all the way located in the back. I see a Doom Cannon. That's cool. I see... Oh, he's online. Why are you doing this to me, man? Refresh. An easy target right now. Level 48. Level 48, uh, honestly, really... Anything below level 50 uh, doesn't even come close. Unless they got everything boosted up. Uh, really don't come close to, uh, to taking me down. Really, that's the way it is. Okay. Um, there's a lot of mines in the, in the middle there. But I'm not really that afraid. As a matter of fact, I'm actually going to go ahead and deploy some critters here to get rid of the boom mine and some other mines, maybe. Distract. Didn't really work out, now did it? Now, one thing that I don't really like at shore bases, or at least whenever I'm walking, is that whenever there are quarries and, and uh, wood, um, if, if there's quarries or, or just these big buildings in the front. So, for example, oh, I need to focus here. Give me a second. I need to deploy my medkit here because my units are gonna die. I don't like whenever there's a quarry or an iron mine or a big building in the front there. It kind of like... I don't really know how to explain it, but... Um, it doesn't really... Like, it, 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 makes, it makes them walk weird. So either I gotta be uh, flaring onto that quarry or, or behind it. But the downside be, uh, of flaring behind it is that they walk a little bit like... They got exposed for a little bit. And that's the last thing that you want. Like to get exposed with your warriors. And as you guys can see because of that we actually lost quite a bit of units. <clears throat> oh we got exactly enough diamonds. Very nice. <laughs> we already maxed out. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to upgrade my golden storages. Because this one's level 10. It's level 10. Where's the other ones? Where's my golden storages? Oh, over here, level 9, level 9. I could have sworn there's more than 4. But if we upgrade uh, this one to the max, it's going to be giving us an additional... Th oh, that seems about right. Yeah. Okay. So we can carry 2 more. And I haven't really been upgrading my storages altogether. I mean, this is all just a little bit over 5 or 4 million. I never needed to either. So that's a thing. <laughs> it's interesting. Fatty Ron, let's see what you're all about, bro. Oh, I like this, all the way in the back. Can I have some critter from there? Let's actually do that. <clears throat> I can just uh, shock both of these buildings, the shock blaster and the shock launcher. So that's going to be cool. There's two rocket launchers there, which are going to be hitting the, the critters that I'm going to be deploying. Uh, they're just going to have some fun here. Deploying a couple of critters there. Inflicting some damage. 
And getting rid of this. Ooh, this rocket launcher is strong. This one is really powerful. I don't know why I decided to take it out. Really don't know. Let's make our way up to the HQ. Yeah, as you guys can see. Oh, the critters responded to the flare. Mistake that I keep on making. That actually is quite annoying. Oh, you see that shock? The smokes? Perfectly smoked. Right there. Pretty happy with that result. Okay, so uh, all we need to do is deploy a couple of medkits here. Because two medkits should be enough to uh, make the warrior survive. There we go. Not a single damage from the flamethrowers. Um, flamethrowers um, did get a buff since the update. So they should be stronger. But still with two medkits, I'm, I'm able to keep them all healed at all times. And in the result, we take down his base really easily. And we just maxed out on gold. That's pretty cool. Haven't had that in a long, long time. But uh, my warriors, my, my heavies are still there. Ooh, turtle power. I made a tweet earlier. Or yesterday or something like that. <laughs> Turtles are invading my homeland. I'm afraid. What do I need to do? A oh, level 55. Major disco. This is going to be a challenge, I hope. Seems that this guy has some nice. Um... Oh, what are you with so many? I suppose this is going to be working for him. This is an interesting base, to say in the least. Um, I am going to be dropping a shock on the boom cannon and get all of these buildings around it, so I don't need to worry about that. And the only thing I need to take out here is essentially this. Uh, Rock shock launcher over there. This guy really dropped down in medals, though. I mean, there's no, there's no necessity. Like, if you guys ever think about dropping in medals, don't. Like, it's not worth it. It's kind of a bad way, really, to to get easier opponents because you're going to be cutting yourself in in the in the hands like later on in your playthrough. At least that's what I feel, really. Like, you don't have to. Um, you don't have to consider that, but that's really how I'm feeling about this. This guy has some high level mines. I'm gonna have to deploy a med kit right now, right now already. Smoke's running out. Let's move out, guys. Oh, just in time. Very, very nice. Oof. Yeah, I think we should be good. Oh, wow. I'm happy I deployed that med kit earlier there. Okay, so on to the... Deploying a lot of medkits here. Yeah, these 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 flamethrowers are definitely higher level. But some of the buildings or units that I had were a little bit exposed because of my sloppy flaring. So that's that's myself to blame there. But you guys already saw like three, three medkits there was enough against a guy of level 55. I think any base will be able, if I have everything boosted up, I think I will be able to take down any sort of base. Um, if they don't have any high level uh, statues or anything like that. Because, you know, that's just how things are right now with my maxed out warriors. Oh, relatively spread it out base. I like to see that. This is like somewhat of an unusual base. Not really a base I would recommend because everything's so spread it out. You really want to get the focus onto one section there, uh, which is the headquarters, obviously. But uh, the shock launches are both kind of secure in the headquarters. And I think he made some space there uh, for the both of them to not get hit. So uh, that is a good thing. But this mind spreading could definitely be more around the HQ. I would definitely recommend that. Uh, so doggone if you're watching this, which I highly doubt. Um, you could al always do that so let's take out your base yes that is gone next one over here we're gonna be dropping a brush onto that as well i think i'm just going to be dropping a shock onto the shock blaster to get the boom cannon and the other cannon as well so that way my warriors don't die as fast and um let me deploy some critters to get rid of those boom mine over here Pew, pew, walk over the boom mine. Yes, nice. Nice critter action right there. That's what I really like to use the critters for, to get rid of mines. They've been really serving me well, those critters. 
But you know, critters were my sneak peek. I mean, that video almost has like 1.8 million views or something. That is just insane. A lot of you guys decide to join the channel because of that. And that's something I'm really thankful for. Whoa, what's happening, guys? It's, it's like it has some knockback. Oh, that would actually be awesome if, if, um, if a defensive building would have something like knockback. But you know, those are just ideas in the end. Let's get rid of this uh, cannon over there at the right side. Boom! That one's gone. And uh, yeah, let's just not do anything. We're running in of 15 minutes onto this recording. And we're almost done with all of the bases. And um, we're doing pretty well. We're nearing that 666 that Bantam hates so much. I mean, you know. What can you do? Oh, we actually lost a village. Wow. And before this episode, I actually did clean up all of my... Uh, all of my NPC bases, but uh, you know the one thing that I really like more on Boomich over Clash is just the fact that you can continuously keep on playing and have a lot of fun. There's much turret over there. That is a base that you can take down without using any units whatsoever. So that's pretty interesting. Oh, this guy with his boom mines in the. F Ugh, I hate this. I hate a base that has boom mines around the HQ because. Yeah, this, this, you're gonna get situations like this. On the contrary, um, hold up. Get that boom mine, thank you. Oh, get that boom cannon. Oh, that's unfortunate. Gonna drop an artillery on it regardless. And, um, artillery on this. To get both of them. I knew I was going to be getting them. And then, um, I hate that boom mine. I really do. Let's sacrifice some units. Not that I don't really have a whole lot of units left, but uh, should be should be good. Oh, bad smoking. But you know, the mines aren't really high level. I think I'm going to be upgrading my mines. Thinking about it. I mean, it is a cool upgrade. People won't expect your mines to be high level because people just don't check mines. Or do you guys check them? I don't know. I don't check mines ever. I'm always just like, you know, let's just go ham in there. And then suddenly, you know, I, I notice that this guy has like high level mines. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I ended up dying. What is, what's going on? Like if mines are maxed out, if you hit like four mines, it is almost going to be killing maxed out warriors. So, you know, I think it's a good upgrade to do. I don't know, I might dedicate some time upgrading those mines, but uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm going to be charging some diamonds to just finish up these mines, because there are only four levels here. And they're not really that expensive, but they're very efficient if they're higher levels. I mean, they add 17 damage on going to level 17, so that's pretty cool. If you don't really upgrade them, you know, nothing much to do. Okay, so we got one, two more player bases onto the map. And we got a uh, little time to spare here with much turret. So let's actually get onto that 666 metal count. So usually what I do for much turret, I drop an artillery here. I drop one artillery here. Then I deploy a, a barrage over here. Get one artillery over there. I should probably get another one over there. Then I deploy a barrage onto here, the right side of that. I don't know if that's the wisest thing to do. Yes, yeah, was good. One artillery here. And I could drop one over here, one over there. Get those buildings too. And then I deploy a shock right around here. And just deploy my critters over there. They will be surviving, which is really cool. You see it? And they're going to be going to the headquarters. And I'm deploying a medkit onto the headquarters. Because the rocket launcher at the far edge is always going to be hitting the critters that are on the headquarters. And that way you're able to take out this base. It is like much turret. Every single time I see much turret, I'm so happy because much turret actually does give a reasonable amount of resources, which we're going to be taking a look at uh, a little bit soon. But I very much like it. And one thing that I've been doing as well is dropping the smoke onto the uh, critters to make them attack all at the same time. But it seems that they still like attack in different. I don't know. Like it's, it's like pew pew, and then it's like they're shooting a little beam or a little. Laser something and then you hit them. So look at how much stone much turret is giving. Over 100k. I mean, for free base? That's awesome. So right now we're on the mighty 666. 
Resource, I mean, uh, yeah, medals. So we got two fairly challenging bases, level 54 and another one. Let's go with this, um, I think it's in Japanese. I cannot, like, read the names. This is an interesting base, I gotta say. Let's see how we're gonna be tackling this one. Um, I think I can just drop one shock and get the boom cannons and the shock launcher from the top. Also at the bottom, it's a, it's a very symmetrical base, this one. I'm gonna give this one a go, even though we might lose on this one. Do you got eye statues? They're probably hidden in the forest somewhere. Yeah, he does. Look at this. One barrage only took out... Um, how much health does that thing have? That that shock launcher must have a lot of health, really. Let's see what we got here. If we scout him. Yeah, an additional 4k. So you must have some... Yeah, here you go. Building health, 27%. Defense damage, 35%. Wow, that, that is maxed out, isn't it? 35 is actually really beast. And then, yeah, those are his statues. They're not boosted up. But I definitely want to have um, a full warriors here. So let's check out uh, Prometheus. Greek god, I think. Greek hero. Level 6 shock launcher. Level 6 as well. Where's your prototype defense? This guy has not been playing for a long time because he doesn't have a prototype or he's either saving up. Either way, like I kind of wish that I found the other guy in, in this, like eyes, because then he couldn't hide his statues. Of course he could still hide. Uh, they're right here. Building defense damage. 20, 24%. Okay, let's actually go ahead and do this one. Trying it out with weakened warriors. It's going to make for an interesting challenge, I think. I kind of feel. Um, let's take out the top rocket launcher here. Ooh, that's pretty rough. But one artillery takes it out. Boom. And then the way I want to be walking is going to be... Mortar. Oh, there is a boom mine. Walk in there. There you go. Then make your way up to the mortar. I'm kind of guessing here. Oh, I'm losing a lot of force. I'm not sure if I'm going to be making this one. Oh, man. Those mines aren't high level at all. I think he's been a little bit lazy on the mines. But, uh, you know, that's all more convenient for me. So. The mad kids and critters at the top there. Oh, there's his shock blaster. What? I didn't even know. <laughs> I legitimately didn't even know. It seems we're getting roasted here. Legitimately. But my force was really, really weakened, so yeah, unfortunately I didn't take down this base. Okay, so it's about time that we take our power to the test here on this level 54, pretty high level dude. And we're just going to see how well we're going to be doing against this base. So, um, as I already mentioned before, I am, I forgot, I, I was going to be shocking like a couple of these buildings here together. So that way um, we are managing to, to get them. That doesn't even get, that didn't even make any sense whatsoever. Uh, let's start off by dropping a barrage right around here, getting to the top buildings and the shock launcher, of course. I think I need two more artilleries in order to take it out, so let's drop them. One, two, there we go. So that is the first obstacle we gotta eliminate. Um, secondly, I think it would be in my best interest. If we walk um, here, of course we cannot take those out. But if we take them out right now, we got three buildings for the same amount of gunboat energy. So that's kind of cool. 
There we go. Make your way up there, guys. Uh, I should have just let them be, actually. Okay, there we go. Man, that shock blaster, man. It's really deadly. One smoke. Two smoke. Can we make it? Yes, we can. Oh, but only just. Look how much damage we got from those mines. Those mines are definitely high level. I think maxed out, actually. Let's do what we need to do. Dropping two smokes. Make our way up to the HQ, just like that. And then it's just a matter of taking out the base like a boss. Let's go ahead and deploy everything like that. Get some critters into the mix. And with a couple of smacks, we should be taking out the base. One more. Boom, there you go. That went pretty nicely, I must say. And now, obviously, we got to be working on Warriors up there again. Before we move on to the next one, because I don't want a little repeat of what I already had. So, I'm going to be waiting until my Warriors are done. I'll be meeting you guys back again in 15 minutes this time. We actually have arrived at the last base of today. And to my surprise, we didn't even get attacked in the meantime, which is a good thing. So, the last base of today is going to be Prometheus. Prometheus, the Greek god. I should have looked it up in the time I was away. But let's actually take this one to the test here right now to see how we're going to be doing here, wrapping up today's episode of the quest to top 50 on the Dutch leaderboard. So let's actually go ahead and deploy a barrage right there. Kind of take that out of the way. Deploy an artillery there to hit them both. And then... And then, and then, and then... There's actually a lot of machine guns there. That's funny. Let's see if we can do something funky. Like, for instance, walk there immediately. Let's see how the warriors are going to be walking. Because I haven't really been testing it in a long, long time. And um, it was said that it was improved. But let's find out if it has. So far, it seems pretty good. Yeah, and in a pretty good condition. Let's actually deploy the medkit right there. Because I know I'm going to be needing another one the moment I'm going to be making my final push towards the HQ. One, two. And this time around, I am not going to be forgetting about the Shock Blaster. The Shock Blaster actually cost me a lot of trouble in the last time. So we're going to be taking that one out of order. With, um... Uh... Oh! My response is a little bit late. But hopefully it is not going to be in vain. Blowing some critters there to distract the flamethrowers, hopefully. And this is going to be a pretty close call, but are we going to be making it? It's extremely close, guys. It is extremely close. Just a couple of more hits, and no, we did not take it down. Oh, what a mess. How could I have not taken that one down? Wow. I am surprised by my own failure. But yeah. You know what? I'll be right back. I'm ready to own up this base. I'm ready. Uh, oh, here it is. Prometheus, the Greek god. Why are you causing me so much trouble and take you down? It's probably because I'm some sort of an idiot who doesn't know how to really play the game or something like that. I don't even know. You guys probably give me a lot of smack for the way I'm playing this right now today. But you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do. This time around, we're gonna be walking a little bit differently. Let's actually go ahead and drop a barrage onto those mines over there. Drop another barrage onto that shock launcher. Getting rid of all of this uh, smash mirage over there. Boom. That's gone. And um, I like to make sound effects. In case you guys didn't know by now. Anyway. Let's uh, do it a little bit differently. We are going to go to the mortar first. And then from the mortar we are going to be making our way. Up up to the, uh, the other mortar. So it's mortar on mortar action right there. And uh, from the mortar, we're gonna go to the mortar. I already said that, but I'll say it again. Then we're gonna be going to the mortar. <laughs> oh, man. My jokes are so not funny. Like, legitimately, guys. Okay, here we are. We're finally there. Now, this is not that hard, right? I mean, how could I have had so much trouble on, on doing this? Oh, that's why, that's why, because I am always responding so ridiculously late that it's going to kill me. 
Not really. Just kidding. Look at my landing crafts. The top landing craft 6666. And the bottom ones, one, two, three, four. That's cool. There we go. We did it. Why was it so hard to do this? I got no idea. Look at my resources. I'm going to be doing exactly what I said I was going to be doing. We're going to be cancelling this out. I know that might be somewhat of a waste. But fact of the matter is, getting 3.3 million iron is a pretty hard achievement. Like, honestly, I cleared out the entire map. And that's how much iron I got right now. So I think it is in my best interest to get this upgrade on the road. There we go. Shock launcher going to the final level. And that means that both of my shock launches right now are maxed out after the one day and 11 hours. That is going to be really great. Uh, means that my shocks are going to be very effective in the setup that I got going on right now. So uh, that's also going to be concluding this episode of Boom Beach. Let's first off check before we go what ranking we are. Are you guys ready? We are currently rank 731. We gained 130 ranks in this very episode, which is actually really, really great. And right now in the guild, in uh, in, in Task Force Incognito, um, Task Force Incognito, in Task Force uh, uh, Redemption, I'm right now rank 8 of, uh, with the amount of medals that I'm having. I'm going to be trying to get as high up there as I possibly can. But that being said, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, make sure that if you guys like this video, to give it a thumbs up. And that being said, this has been Reverso for Boom Beach, the quest to top 50 on the Dutch leaderboards. I'm going to be signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one.